Military police officer Joshua Dean followed my mom's car into the parking lot of Tripler Hospital like a bad movie sequel. He was a sheep in wolf's clothing wearing Sunday's worst. The camouflage only blended in with the rest of the killers. I was visiting my, my dying uncle with my family. I had a habit of unbuckling my seatbelt in parking lots because I didn't think five miles an hour was very life-threatening, but this 18-year-old MP didn't like activist kids who broke the law. He tried to assert his authority by burning copyright symbols into our flesh. His bomb blast voice determined to leave radiation poisoning in our ears as a reminder of who the patent belongs to. He obviously had problems with communication because he only used his radio to shatter the window my mom rolled up. Maybe he thought the squares of four-year safety glass would be more protective under my skin. He was too young for this. But in contrast to my delinquent four-year-old self, he felt old and full of wisdom, passing his fist through my glass window of opportunity like sage advice. This could have all been avoided if I had the patience he lacked. He was just teaching, he was just teaching us to appreciate imprisonment. Oppressors, oppressors sacrifice so much to continue occupying our land. He pulled a new trick out of his sleeve in the form of a pistol. He didn't want to lose this argument. He was just trying to get his gunpoint across. This 18-year-old MP was just a baby who'd been stolen from his crib by, recruit by recruiters who robbed cradles like it was nothing more than petty, petty larceny. Now it's his job to put headstones on nurseries so murders are born as singletons, twins, and tripler hospital. An army of seatbelts wouldn't have saved me in this situation because he was ready to squeeze that trigger like my buckle. He planned on taking the remaining years from my life instead of $92, but remember, this is before the Click It or Ticket campaign. He was just trying to pass the bar for Marshall Law School. He was suffering from, from pre-traumatic stress disorder, preparing himself for all the other brown children he'd have to shoot in his career. I was just his kaho'olabe, his makua, his shooting range. That's why I hide depleted uranium under my skin. A hospital seems like a really good place to test your patience. I could tell he only knew warm embrace with firearms. He was determined to make sure that my uncle wasn't the only Hawaiian who died there that day. And I'm, I might have hated him if I had learned how to, but when I looked past the barrel, I could see every night he battle cried himself to sleep. He was burned, he was burned, but his warfare skin was nothing to make light of. Holding this piece like a teddy bear, he was still hiding beneath a security detail blanket. Body counting sheep only multiplied his insomnia. I'm still alive. I think I blacked out the escape because I don't remember. Neither does he. After all, we were just children. If MP Joshua Dean was one of my Hawaiian cousins, he'd still be in jail. But he got the military discount on attempted murder. Transferred to another base like misdirected anger. I still avoid Tripler, but I don't always buckle up. Because it's time to buckle down.